The secret law of attraction, what they don't tell you about manifesting your desires. They made a fantastic film, it's called The Secret Movie, but they missed some very important pieces and, and just about everyone talking about the law of attraction makes it so complex it becomes actually harder to manifest what you want. In this video, I'm going to break it down for you so that the things that you want start to speed up like that and come into your life faster. This is Jake Ducey with JakeDucey.com and let's dive right into this video. Okay, the secret law of attraction, and there's so many videos, there's so much talking about it, and a lot of times it just makes it more complex. In the most basic form, what it's telling you is that everything is energy. Everything is energy. In fact, an atom, an A-T-O-M, an atom, that built, built physical building block of the entire universe is 95 to 99% empty space. It's non-physical intelligence. It's just divine intelligence. That's all everything really is. And it's vibrating at a certain frequency that makes it appear to your sensory objects, your eyes, like it's a solid object. Everything is energy and your thoughts are energy too. You have an entire energy field controlled by your own consciousness, by your own mindset, by your own subconscious programming. And whatever your energy field is vibrating in harmony with dictates the things that you attract into your life. It determines your bank account. It determines the people you attract into your life, the circumstances, the situations, and the ultimate result of your life. And it's this simple. Everything is two things, what you want or the absence of what you want. People know what they want. People say, I want more money, I want love, but then they're focused on the absence of it. All they talk about is the fact that their relationships haven't worked out yet, there's no good guys left, I'm about to give up, I really want it to work out, but I just can't seem to find, all they talk about is the fact that it's not working. What consciousness is that? It's a consciousness of not having. They're in a consciousness of not having. Same thing with money. Somebody says, I really want it, but I mean, ah, this is so difficult. Da, 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 da. They're in a consciousness of not having. The secret law of attraction is summed up in a very simple phrase from the Bible. And it says, to those that have, more will be given. When you're in the consciousness of having what you want, you will get it. To those that do not have, when you're in the consciousness of not having what you want, even that which they have will be taken away because when you're in a consciousness of lack, you attract more energy that matches that experience because every single thing is energy. So at every moment, every day, every week, every year, the results of the things that happen around you and that you attract into your life are a product of your own consciousness. That's what the secret is saying in the simplest form possible is that your consciousness, what are thoughts? Thoughts are energy. They're energy that are at a frequency that you cannot see, but you can see the effects of thoughts. You can see the culmination of your thoughts over the course of the year control your bank account. But you can't see thoughts, but you can see the effects of them. Thoughts are energy. It's how you formulate your own energy. It's you dialing the radio knob to the certain frequency of, of bandwidth. And then you attract based off of that experience to you. And so the question is, can you be in the consciousness of having what you want before you have it? That's what it means to act as if you already have something. It's to be in the consciousness of having it before you have it. I'm so grateful that money is abundant in our world. I'm so grateful that more is printed every single day. I'm so grateful that in the past I ha I've had financial problems, yet I still had money to spend. I didn't have as, not, as much money as I wanted, but I did have money to spend. And now I'm noticing that I'm seeing that I'm more worthy of experiencing freedom in life. And as a result of that, my self-worth is increasing. I'm feeling more of a resonance with abundance and prosperity. And in turn, I know that that's attracting more wealth into my life. I'm so grateful that God's abundance flows to me. See, what consciousness is that? What energy is that? That's a powerful energy. If you keep that energy up every day, your life will change. And you don't need money in order to start to change your consciousness like that. Another example, I don't have the love of my life yet, let's pretend. 
And then it's like, you know, I'm so grateful that those last relation, I was really upset about the way the last relationship worked out. And you know, in the past I would just harbor resentment towards it and I would wish it would work out and I would keep trying to change things and make it work out and I'd get desperate. And now I know that, that the source of what God in the universe is, is love. And the source of who I am is love too. And I'm focused on creating the happiest version of myself. I know that as I find more happiness within myself, it makes me more attractive. And it also helps me attract people for dating that match that same frequency as well. And so I'm finding more compatibility with people I'm meeting and I know that it's on the way and I'm so grateful that the last relationships didn't work because obviously the universe was giving me a sign that that's not right, the right person. But now I know the right person is coming. Now I know things are shifting. Now, that's a consciousness of having. You don't need the outer thing to control your own consciousness. That's what free will means. Free will means you get to think whatever you want to think, regardless of the appearance of things. And as you think certain things the way you want to think them, you activate certain brain cells. That sends electrical impulses through your nervous system. It, it controls your emotions. What are your emotions? Your energy and motion. And as that energy starts to get wedged into your subconscious, it controls what you attract into your life. That is the secret law of attraction in the simplest form possible to understand. So guess what? Here's the challenge. Can you think as if you already have what you want today? Just spend today, make it a fun challenge today to think as if you already have what you want. Think about what you want. Money, love, new car, new job, new friends, new adventures to travel, a new certain lifestyle, whatever it is that you want. Think as if you already have it and talk to yourself as if you already have it. Not I wish, not I hope, not it would be great if, not sometime in the future, right now as if it's already taking place in your life. Albert Einstein said that logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Most people use imagination in entirely the wrong way. They imagine what they don't want to have happen over and over and over and over and over again. They imagine that they aren't good enough. They imagine that there's no good guys out there. They imagine that they will never get out of debt. They imagine these things over and over and over and over again when they could take a deep breath and instead they could think what it is that they want to think. So the, so the challenge today is today to think what it is that you want to think. And if you want to amplify that power, right there down below is my free success hypnosis. I created a success hypnosis to start to rewire my subconscious mind. Now, when I learned what I just shared with you in this video, and I learned that 95% of your life is subconscious. So psychologists say that we have 65,000 thoughts in a day, that you have 65,000 thoughts in a day, 95% of them are subconscious. Sub means below. So they're below conscious, they're programmed into you, they're habitual. And most people's are negative. It blocks the money they want. It blocks the love they want. It blocks the things that they want because it's things they inherited from other people around them. So I created a success hypnosis to rewire that so I could attract success easier in my life by making that 95% of my life that's habitual and subconscious by making that in alignment with what I want. So it's right there down below. You can use it for free. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below, jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. And you can start to use that to train your subconscious mind because once your subconscious receives the impression of abundance, that's when the law of attraction really starts to pick up in your life because it's happening subconsciously without your conscious effort. And that's where real magic starts to unfold. So jakeshypnosis.com, comment down below, thoughts become things. Comment down below, thoughts become things. You are an energy being and you can harness the power of the universe using your thoughts to create what you want. You're worthy of what you want. Your life can change this week, this month, this year. Great things are on the way. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification right over there. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. So even if you already subscribed, just double check you've actually hit the bell notification right over there. You are powerful beyond measure and great things are on the way. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button right over there and 
hit the bell notification because that's what's going to notify you for new videos. Subscribe, bell notification. Let's get right to the video.